Welcome YouTube. This is Joseph. Um, this is what this is what you see right now is part of my wet cell that at one time I blew up in my vehicle right at that. Um, and uh, it was is kind of like a, a water for gas style, except I put a little more advanced to it. Except this time, it, it it's it's kind of uh, semi corroded stainless steel and uh, bent wires, melted Kanex parts. I blew this up in my vehicle, as I told you. And uh, yeah, let me tell you some wet cells are are not bad, but eventually, you're you, it's a good eventually you end up garbage, anyways. So, wet cells, as HHO Connection says. Um, it's it's always gonna be the least efficient. It's all it's less safe to be sure. Um, anyways, um, for my gaskets I use in my dry cell. I have dry cell right now, but this right here, f between the flange and the first plate and the and the last plate and the other flange, are two of these gaskets. PVC shower pan liner. And, uh, as you can see, get my caliper up and running. It measures 0 0.038. Now, I have toyed with using this, but it's not a bad one. But I didn't use it, but it, it's, it varies thicknesses to, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.05 to 0 0.03. It, it gets a lot of squeeze into it. I didn't use that in, in my dry cell, but I thought I'd give it a try. It's not wasting money to me. This is between plate and plate. This thin little guy. It's not the real gasket. This is the out. This is the the outlining of the square footage of every in between every plate. That thing is pretty darn thin. 0 0.016. And and that is in inches. S A E to be to be around there. Anyways. Um in my next in my next clip in this video I'll show you my dry cell, which I have up and running right now. Alright?